Hello everybody, welcome to a new Vintage Weekend. Today we are in the mountains, in the upland of Asiago, and we are spending here a week just relaxing, walking, and of course doing a bit of vintage shopping. So today we are going to hunt for treasures at an antiques market and in a vintage shop. So let's go! We are in the center of Asiago, just one minute of walk from the main square. Today I'm with all my family, mom, dad, Fabiano and his parents. It's going to be fun, so come and join us and let's start the hunting. I want to take the semaphore. The semaphore? But it serves to indicate when the people can enter. Every time I come around I like to visit this shop to see what's new and I never leave empty-handed. I use many vintage doilies while taking pictures of the items that I sell in my web shop, so I'm looking for new colored ones. Coperta? Bellissimo. Ah, No, uno. Centro tavola per Natale. I've got to read the dates on the tags with attention because the more the item stays in the shop, the more it gets discounted. You see this shelf half empty, but I remember that a few days ago it was stuffed with beautiful crystal glasses and of course they are gone. I like these brass goblets. I've seen that online they resell for 30 euros each and here they cost only 5. Been here with my mom a few days ago and we already purchased many things and at the end of the video we will show you our haul. If you enjoy hunting for vintage treasures just like I do, please consider subscribing to my channel. We have a hand painted terracotta dish. The label only says uh, old plate to hang, so I don't know where this is from, but I've already seen this style and I think it's Italian. They also have another couple with flower decorations and they are 10 euros each. This one has been here for a while. I love it, but unfortunately, one drawer is missing. What a pity. That's why the price is so low. This wicker bin is cool. I like that it has handles and the green color is nice. Mm, where can I put this? It has a plastic layer inside so I could also use it as a planter. This set of giant fork and spoon would be nice to decorate your kitchen. They seem ethnic, but they show the flowers of the mountains, so maybe they are traditional in this area? I'm in doubt. I 
I discovered that this kind of Japanese teacups are called eggshell porcelain because they are very thin and they also seem so fragile, so it's better to put it back. This dish is gorgeous. I thought it was from England, but to my surprise, it's from Italy. Only 3 euros. And there is another one. But they are chipped and cracked, so I don't know. What do you think? Should I purchase them anyway? And these could be from China, but the mark on the back has some letters of our alphabet. Maybe they have been made for the European market? This is another mystery. Vediamo. Scatolina per le crocchette. Forma ergonomica. The Coca-Cola trays are everywhere, but it's so difficult to find the original old ones. These are quite recent and they cost 10 euros. The floral decorations painted on this planter are traditional from this area. This piece is beautiful and has already been sold for 120 euros. I spotted this Florentine trinket box. I was hoping to find a bigger jewelry box with the same style because I sold all the ones I had in my web shop. Anyway, this one is 4 euros and it is lovely, so I think I'm going to grab it. Dry flowers in a round frame for 5 euros. This is cool and has the neutral colors that are so trendy these days. set of herbal prints. I love them, but maybe 30 euros is a little too much. Cosa ti piace? Particolare. Molto di montagna. Di montagna, siamo in montagna. Vero? Hai visto quella con lo scoiattolo? No. <ride> È carino? È un disegno o una stampa? Secondo, secondo me. me è una stampa. Già vista, già vista. Molto. Anche deve essere abbastanza Ah sì, bellissimo, è molto carino. Anche poi sono quelle cose che riempi di diciamo usagli inutili, però. Ogni cassetto le sono. Le manigliette proprio degli anni 50, 40, 50. No. And what about this heavy brass squirrel? Oh, it's lovely and perfect to put on a shelf on a mountain cottage. Let's have a look at the plates. Here we have a beautiful hand-painted set. All the plates have the same flower composition and I like them very much, but I prefer when they have different flowers. 5 euros each is a good price, but they have some minor chips, so I guess I'm going to pass on these. Lately 
I'm trying to focus also on costume jewelry. I like that vintage faux coral necklace and there are also these cute vintage earrings with turquoises. This trinket box comes from Russia. It's always fun to browse in a vintage shop because you can find items from all around the world. Guarda una cosa che mi piace. Aspetta. Guarda. Eh? È un po' da cenere. È un po' da cenere? Credo di sì. Ah sì. Però è bello. Tipo c'è scritto cosa cenere. <ride> Però sembrava più una scultura moderna, tipo. Io l'ho identificato immediatamente come cosa cenere. Mm, sarai più brava di me allora. Outside the shop there is this gazebo where they keep also some furniture pieces. Other doilies, let's have a look. Oh, questi sono carini. Oh, c'è anche il sottobottiglia. Cosa stai facendo, amo? <laughs> This cute side table, probably from England, is only 20 euros. Non hai rotto. No, mi manca un pezzettino. Sì. Ma nessuno lo noterà mai. Fammi vedere giù. Come il nostro tavolo. Un di simpatico. Sì. 20 euros for this vintage wicker trunk. It has leather details and look here you can see that it is old. But it would be nice to store towels in a bathroom. And this giant basket. You can put pillows and blankets in this one. It's in good conditions and it will soon be discounted. Look how this cabinet has been ruined. Maybe it was left out in the rain, but I love this vintage look. It is also well made and let me see. Yes, there is another one here behind. So I guess they were bedside cabinets. Spaghettata. <laughs> These are for Italian pasta and spaghetti. So cool. Yeah. bellissimo questo questo lo ah. prendo perché è tanto bello mm. cavoli di quelli quattro. tutti intrecciati eh. solo quattro allora. sì solo quattro allora hai fotografato questo no è veramente carino eh? la suocera mi manda messaggi <ride> subliminali no questo è carino guarda yeah. che <ride> un giorno un euro comunque li ho portati tutti in un negozio dell'usato eh Okay, so speaking about babies, how do you call this? Well, this is very nice, but I don't know if it is also usable. Are those the instruction sheets? Oh, it's from the 30s. <laughs> wow. Hai visto questo, Fabi, per il nostro giardino? Eh, lo so. Ci avevi già fatto un pensierino. No. <ride> Bello? Rimani senza. Sì, stanno già rimanendo senza. Guarda qua. Eh, ma va lasciato così, verniciato. Carino? Quanto costa? Fonula. Sei molto contenta? Dai che andiamo a pagare. Aspetta. Il porta rotoli per bambini. Oh, carino. Guarda. Lo metti in bagno. Molto ma... carino. Vero? No. Guarda che è un proprio. Mm. E poi? E poi ho preso un bellissimo vaso tipo di Capodimonte. Sì, sì, sì. Ah, ma tipo, stavolta tipo. vieni fuori anche tu su internet. Ah, no, sai mettermi. Oh, ma Come no? Come no? Ormai no, basta. Ormai è fatto. Today is the third Sunday of the month and here in Asiago there is the antiques market. 
The Bitosi vase that you've seen in the cover of this video has been the very first find of the day. Here you see me and Fabiano with our haul, but then we went on and found other treasures, so stay with us. This Art Nouveau inspired mirror is so cute. Fabiano spotted another mirror here, but the price was 40 euros and I thought it was pricey. In this stand my mom bought a set of beautiful glasses and you will see them later at the end of our haul. We are saving the best for last. Okay, here we are, very comfortable, and this is a better place. Now my daughter will explain to you why. <laughs> because it's not windy in here, and last time we had some problems with wind. Andiamo dentro. Posso dire che anche qua nelle montagne abbiamo trovato un vintage shop. Sì. Puoi anche dire che è la cinquantesima volta che proviamo a rifare questo video. <laughs> Vabbè, cominciamo. <laughs> sì. So, uh, would you like to start with yes. your toilets? Yes. One of yours, one of mine. Okay, it's up to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My, my first doily is this one. We love uh, colored toilets. <laughs> yes, here in the mountains, in my mountain cottage, I have got colored things and the furniture. And so I prefer to have a colored doilies too, like this one. To tell you the truth, I collect the antique laces, they are generally white. <laughs> so for one euro I got this one that is red. I prefer colored doilies too. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of Christmas time, so I think I will use it uh, this winter. And what about yours? Ah, a white one, very small. The crochet handmade. How much did you pay for it? Um, I can't remember, maybe one euro. Yes, they were all one euro, two euros. Yeah, yes, yes. I got a doily pillow cover. This was very nice, don't you think? It seems handmade. Is it handmade? Yes, it is a crochet. Lovely. I don't know if it matches well with my home decor. So maybe I will sell this one. Anyway, I think it's very cute and the price was 4 euros. Expensive! <laughs> 4 euros! <laughs> it was discounted to 2 oh, euros, ah, I think. <laughs> so <no>, that's better. <laughs> Another doily for a round tray. With delicate flowers, with delicate flower embroideries. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know where it can come from, but uh, I thought it was expensive because uh, it has uh, two tags. You see, one is uh, five euros and the other one is uh, um, one euro. Uh, reduced, <laughs> price reduced. Christmas vibes for this one too. I like it. Next one, this big one. Uh, maybe I have to iron it better, but uh, forgive me. <laughs> It is colored, so it is unusual. I like it. Hmm. Okay. C'è la Isotta che sta ringhiando. So you've got to know that our cats uh, um, hate each other. <laughs> so we are having some problems during these days of holiday because every time they meet here in the house, they are arguing. <laughs> they are yes, doing something. They always arguing. So today Isotta is here. I am editing a video and Selena is there. What are they? They are um, coasters. Ah. You see? Embroidered coasters. Oh, nice. I like that they are all colored and uh, there is also the bigger one mm -hmm. for the bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, very cute. They are six, six and seven. then uh, Plus the, one, bigger one. the bigger one. So these were the doilies. <laughs> we got a ton of doilies. <laughs> Here you've got uh, three boxes. One is very, very, very small. How cute is this one? <laughs> 
actually I found this. Uh, I you, found you it. I found it. Yeah. <laughs> but you I... didn't see in, in the video because uh, we found it the previous time that yes. we were in the same shop. We are there almost every week <laughs> to look for <laughs> new treasures. And this one... It, it is Wedgwood. Yeah. This peculiar technique mm -hmm. is uh, typical of Wedgwood. Uh, it's uh, like a trinket box. It is so small. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's Pegasus? Yes, if I remember well, Wedgwood China is usually inspired by mythological themes. I will make a small research because uh, I know that you can uh, tell the year of the production year. with the marks that are here. So maybe it's 75, mm. so 1975. Mm. It could be, it could be. I haven't got my glasses, so don't ask me to <laughs> <laughs> understand <Well. laughs> which is. And uh, this is not the first Wedgwood piece that I find because uh, you will see it in the next video, which will talk about uh, my vintage, vintage trip. <laughs> vintage trip. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was uh, on a trip uh, with my husband to Ireland and obviously we went sightseeing a lot but we also visited many many antique shops <laughs> and in one of them I found another Wedgwood item that I will show you in the next video. Come on with another box. Okay. This is Italian. Yes, this is a Florentine, uh, Florentine box and uh, I'm always loving these decorations uh, with gold and uh, other colors. So this one has green and gold, very elegant. This is smaller compared to the other ones that I have at home, but I thought that uh, this kind of treasure chest <laughs> is lovely. And there I have a tin box, which is already <laughs> full of dry food for my cat. Uh, and it cost one euro. <laughs> so when I spotted this beautiful jewelry box, it reminded me of something and I didn't know why, but uh, then I discovered that, let's see, under, under the price, <laughs> under the price, there is the signature of the artist who made this and I knew her because uh, in this house we have other artworks uh, from the same artist. Uh, this artist was very famous here in uh, Asiago and uh, about uh, 20 years ago we bought some panels uh, very big and uh, that's why <laughs> I, I, I spotted it and I really love this peculiar style. And uh, uh, here is a very nice potiche very elegant and dainty by Schumann, Germany. The golden decoration are perfect. So you told me that uh, it's better when the golden parts are not very shiny because uh, it means that yeah. they are of better quality. Uh, the gold mustn't be too glossy. This is, uh, this is all right, this is good quality. And it Look. is very elegant. Well, we really found a lot of things this time. <laughs> I got these uh, earrings, they have the clip on the back, I think they are from the 80s, very big earrings and also heavy. I tried them on and they are perfect, <laughs> so it was love at first sight and they were only mm, 5 euros. No, no, deal. I remember the price was reduced, really, because they have been there for a long time, you remember? Yes, mm. so nobody spotted oh, them yes. in a year and a half, mm -hmm. and so I paid two euros fifty. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Eh, ecco, papi. Ciao, papi. Finito. No, stiamo facendo. E quindi vai. Ciao, papi. And then, love at first sight. This ceramic basket where you can put bread, um, crackers, uh, or fruit um, also. Or fruit. Uh, see, it is uh, similar to a basket. And here you can read Italy. 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 Mm -hmm. Always. Tiny little perfection. <laughs> Look at the details. It's very dainty and lovely and uh, you suggested to buy it for only one euro. 
I'm curious to find out uh, uh, what's the provenance. It has a twisted mm. flower shape. <sighs> so elegant. I've got uh, a similar pair. Mami, aspettiamo che vada via sta mosca. Con la No. So, um, spoon and fork made of wood, cool to hang. I think they have a very modern shape. So, and also remove the, the price, thing. which is one euro. Yeah, one euro each. Actually, ah, so each. One euro for the spoon, one euro for the fork. Do you think it really was worth it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I should remove the pink ribbons. That ah, yeah. Not very suitable. No, no, no. So actually, yesterday I went back to the shop because I saw one thing that I would like to buy and I don't know if I will buy it. You will see it if I buy it. Um, so I got this set of coasters. Maybe they will match a summer tablescape. They are six and I got them for only two euros. So let's start with the Antiques Market haul. This was one of my finds. It's a vintage uh, necklace, matches well with many outfits. Can you put this on? Can I, I can help you? No. Oh, oh, voilà. Super. How oh, is it? Hmm. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> this was not that cheap because the seller wanted 15 euros. Finishing to strucchiare la plastica. Uh, so the seller wanted 15 euros, then mm. I tried to bargain a little bit and I got it for 12. Mm. Anyway, not a good so price. Bad, not good so price. Bad. I, I will keep it. So, lovely couple of. Well, uh, I am at a loss of uh, finding the use. <laughs> <laughs> Put the rings uh, <laughs> oh, or just, so small. just for display. Maybe just this one could be uh, used uh, to put some, not, not an ashtray, not an ashtray. No, <laughs> no, no. no, no. You know. can also display them like this on a shelf. They this are... is so small. It... Yes, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I loved them so much yes. that I couldn't leave them behind. They were four euros for both, and they are hand painted with birds and flowers. And uh, the technique is very similar to the cloisonne. A name of there anyone one can suggest. <laughs> <laughs> what they, they are for? <laughs> we are looking for advice. The super find. So today the star <laughs> is this vase by the brand Bitossi. I remember you were so happy. I took like 40 pictures <laughs> with, <Yeah. laughs> with the vase, like a trophy, it's like a trophy. Oh, yes. I found it, finally I found a Bitossi. At this price, she was happy because the price was very small. It came from a dismissed estate. And the seller mm -hmm. didn't know about this brand. He wanted 15 euros and uh, I had the courage to ask him for a discount and he gave it to me for 10 euros. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. How Phase. lucky you are sometimes. Yes, really. I generally uh, found expensive things uh, when <laughs> we go out together. She often finds cheap things but always uh, top quality. <laughs> so this particular vase uh, belongs to a collection, to a series that's called uh, uh, Rimini Blue, designed by Aldo Londi, which was a famous designer. Amazing geometric decorations. These are all handmade. Um, I'm thinking about putting this in my bathroom at home. There is a very small chip here. Don't say that. <laughs> 
Oh, come on, it's really super small. Nobody will <coughs> see it. No, really, but if you want, I can restore it. You don't want to give me the face because you think that I can keep it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you admiring yourself? As I saw it, I thought that I had to buy it because it is really beautiful. It's a um, Art Nouveau style mirror and uh, you know that I collect hand mirrors. This one is a table mirror. I don't know why I got it, but it's so beautiful. I couldn't leave it there. What about your husband's uh, hobby? <laughs> He's collecting alarm clocks, but the they clocks. know it. <laughs> I think it's an Italian one because the name is Silenziosa, which means uh, silent. They have a nice color, very vintage. How many does Fabiano have? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, a, an entire shelf full of alarm clocks right now. <laughs> And here I am with my last buy. A set of glasses. I couldn't resist, really. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 solo I love it. This is a set of 12 glasses. The glass is hand blown. And they come from a factory which used to work for Venini in uh, Venice, in Murano, Venice. They are very elegant. I show you the flute. Here they are. So this is for wine and this is for Prosecco. Yes. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Don't you want to use them tonight <coughs> for dinner? They're too elegant. Mm. Uh. Because tonight we are hosting a country dinner. <laughs> so we are going back to the same shop to purchase the thing that I didn't buy the other day. Let's hope it's still there. Today they also have new items such as these colored vintage tassels. I think I'm going to buy these green ones. But the piece I came back for is this one. Entrambi usatissime. Ah, il loro bello? Ah, certo. 4 e un pezzo. Novanta centimetri. Do you mean to wash your clothes that way? No way. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it cool? <laughs> I know, I know this seems only an old washboard, but I had a vision and thought that I could put it on my bathtub. I like to keep plants in the small bathroom, but they always seem a bit out of place. And now I can use this washboard as a shelf to put all my plants and then soap or maybe candles. There's plenty of space. It's very useful and I love it. I am working on a kind of a vintage jungle bathroom makeover that you will see during this fall. This is only a sneak peek, but if you're curious to see it complete, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss the next episodes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. This will really help my channel to grow and I thank you so much for all your support. In the next episode, Fabiano and I will go on a trip to Ireland and we will hit as many antiques stores as we can. I can't wait to take you along with us, so see you next week. Bye!